guys today we are going to do the first and easiest experiment with class c tuned amplifier uh, the connections are very simple in this experiment as per the design of the amplifier uh, we have to adjust the rm that is load resistance of this class c tuned amplifier at 6.8 kilo ohms so first we will adjust that using dmm we will measure the resistance So by adjusting this knob, uh, you have to adjust the resistance at 6.8 kilo ohms. Just do that. Okay. So now approximately it's 6.8 kilo. Now we will connect the RF signal into the input of the amplifier. As I said, connections are very simple. Just connect this. We have to measure the current across inductor coil. So, we will, as we know, we have to connect millimeter in series. So, using DMM. Connect this. Now take the output on CR, uh, sorry, DS. Auto set. As we can see, there is sine wave, but as we vary the frequency, the wave changes. So at certain frequency, there is maximum amplitude, that is called tune frequency. Okay, this is the uh, amplitude should be maximum, and this is the frequency now. So by varying frequency, you can see the output at zero. So now I am varying the frequency, and the output changes. So just at a certain frequency, the output is maximum. Okay, so this is the tune frequency. I just record this measure. As you can see in the observation table, uh, this frequency is. 470 kilohertz. Right. So take the reading, measure the current on DMM. It's one, and measure the voltage on uh, C uh, DSO. Note one thing: on DSO, the voltage is peak to peak. So just divide it by two, and in the observation, write it. So now this is the tune frequency. Take different readings above and below it. So now we have tune frequency as 470 kilohertz. So now we will take it at 460. So adjust the frequency as 460. And again take the same readings as voltage and uh, uh, current on the DMM. Now as we take, took the tune frequency, measure the currents across various frequencies above and below. So now we have, we have measured across uh, 4, 480 kilohertz, it is 1.21 milliampere. So take 2-3 readings uh, like that. And for measuring voltage, just short these terminals. And take the voltage readings on DSO. So again the same, take 3 to 4 readings uh, of the frequencies and voltage. Uh, voltage here is peak to peak again. So you will have to divide it by 2 to take the voltage. And plot the graph of... Efficiency versus frequency, and you will see that at the tune frequency it will be maximum, and uh, around that uh, it will go on decreasing. Thank you so much.